Hey, again, and uh, we're going to continue with this uh, exercise in this uh, legends file where we create our legends and our schedules. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a quantity schedule for room area and volume. So let's go to our first level. I'll get you started here and you can do the rest. So the first thing we want to go is in the architecture tab on the room and we'll place a room here. This will be a room. We'll add another here and another here. Now what we have here also for this big room here we can go and have what we call is a room divider or a separator and we can go and we'll just create a line here to separate this and we'll continue with our rooms I'm not sure what that room will be but we'll think of something go back to architecture tab and add room so we have a room there as well and one here good so now we have our rooms all, all tagged and labeled and so what we want to do here you want to go down to our schedule our schedule and quantities under the view tab so now here we're in the architecture tab and we'll go down to room we'll just hit OK here and now in our fields we'll have we'll add area we'll go and add name uh, volume what else uh, let's see what else can we add here we can even add a level if you like okay Um, that's good enough. So let's just have a look and see what we got here. So there we have our rooms and the areas. We don't have our names and we have the level. So let's go out of this. So what we like to do here now is go back into our architecture tab on the room and areas. And we want to do volume computations. Now, the setting is the default where it doesn't show area volume. So we'll take here and we'll get our volumes as well. So we'll go OK. And then we'll select this label here. Oops, sorry. We'll double click here and we'll start naming these rooms because um, let's see what we look like in our schedule okay we have the area the volume and the level so the next thing we want to do we want to go back to our floor plan and we like to just name these rooms I guess we can call this um, our living room Okay. Uh, we can call this our office. It's going to be a bedroom, I guess. I don't know. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. This will be our kitchen. This two rooms. And it's called family room, I guess. Well, these are gonna be important later on for what we're gonna do with this building. I think this is gonna we're gonna turn this into our uh full project where we're going to do electrical circuits. So we'll call this, uh, oh yeah, I don't know. OK, 
kind of out of there for a dining room, but let's call it a dining room. You can call it whatever you like and hit OK. So now, as you'll see, um, all of our rooms have appeared in the schedule with the names. So we look at our schedule, and there are room, our room names, our volumes, and our levels. So let's go back to our fields, and let's add room number. So add, we'll move this up. And let's see, okay. So there's our room areas, names, and volumes, and levels. So we have that done. And then we can go back to our schedule sheet. Uh, you should have a sheet of schedules here. We can go to our cover sheet or I think I don't I don't have it on mine, but I think you should have uh, the sheet done. And you'll place the room level with the volumes and the level in whatever fields you want to add here. This is more important because later on we're going to need these volumes and these areas for um, the electrical circuits and things like that. So this is where we want to take this, this guy. Um, now, what we also want to do here. We want to be able to uh, show the volumes here. Um, I'm going to show you this. Hopefully, I think if I remember well, let's go back to our level one. And can't get to that tag, huh? Because I can. Okay, wait a second here. Let's take this hang on one second. Okay, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm going to continue on here. So now what we want to do is we want to add the volume. I kind of forgot that. So we can hit, click on the room tag, edit type. And uh, we can load in the annotations and go down to uh, our rooms and hit OK. And then we'll override existing version now, and then we'll show, click on show volumes, and then we'll hit apply and OK. So there's our room uh, name, room number, and volume for each room. So uh, if we go back to our schedule here, so we have our number area our name, volumes, and levels uh, selected. So I think we want to arrange this a little differently. Uh, let's go back into our fields. And I think the number is good first. And then I think the room name should probably be second place. And then um, a level would probably be here, I think. So it doesn't really matter how you do this. And then we have other fields. So um, this is good for now. We are going to come back to this a little later. We hit OK here. And there's our schedule. And this is how you do an area and volume schedule for a room. Now what I'd like you guys to do is go on and do the second level. If you can see here uh, in this level, you'll notice that we haven't used this. You have the underlay showing, which is fine, but to shut the underlay off, see, you have underlay here, and it's showing the base low. You can simply go none here, and then you have the floor plan. So go on and do the top level, and uh, we'll move on from there. But anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, um, like it or subscribe. Thanks and until next time. Bye.